Hello everybody. Um, as you know, my name is Charlie Black. This is another one of those personal journals, but the topic today is hair dreadlocks. <clears throat> now the reason why I've chosen to do this video is because I've been finding, like, well, <clears throat> wow, mm, yeah, I've been finding online that there's not really a lot of informative videos about dreadlocks in hair online. Um, not that I'm a connoisseur or anything, or an enthusiast, right, but, um, I just recently decided to go dread, and, um, you know, the maturity stage, the birthing process, is very frustrating. Um, now that I've physically looked at the calendar, and I am just shy of five weeks, right, I'm actually happy with my process. About ten minutes ago, I was really upset. Um, <clears throat> now, uh, the type of style that I've been using is twisting, and you can do dread perming or back combing, but back combing is more for straight hair. Obviously, I have African-Canadian hair, it's the Timmy's Cup, the new dark roast, right? Um, African-Canadian hair, but, um, yeah, I, I decided to do the twisting process. Um, really, the, the frustration came from, I started dreading my hair or started attempting to dread my hair uh, at a salon in July and uh, you'll find if in your starting process you have one of two options you can use gels or you can use wax now without really much education on the topic I decided to use gel actually it wasn't even an option it was what the lady at the salon used was that a scam I don't know I still continue to go to the lady but the gel, I'm, and I'm a heavier guy, is very much water soluble. What does this mean? When you sweat, when you perspire, when you're in the sun, if you're in humid environments, it's very easy for the gel to come out. If you're cleaning your hair or washing your hair, which is like old things that people are accustomed to, I don't know what, at what point in your life you're at or what age you are, right? The gel will wash out. So I think personally, in my personal experience, gel is for fashion dreads, right? I think wax is the better choice. Now when I switched to wax after doing some research, after my experience, um, my dread birth date was August 8th, right? Today is September 10th, technically September 11th, but it's like 4 in the morning, so... I want to say September 10th. Now the lady that I go and see, um, she charges $50 for every twist, right? And I tip her out and stuff like that. And I figured based on that, usually when I did the fade and stuff like that, it was $20. But I did a fade every three weeks. That's manageable in a budget, right? I make moderate money. But I'm like, $50, I'm going to try and push it to three weeks or even a month. When you have young dreads, that's impossible. And I think that's where the frustration comes from, the maintenance. If anybody says that dreads is no maintenance, they're lying to you. Because in my personal experience, it is a lot of work. So I did my, like I told you, my dread birth date was August 8th. And the, the first, like the first day is always nice because you know, you're locked up nice and tight with um, the wax. <clears throat> I did a retwist. August 25th, right? And now I have an appointment set up um, for 10 a.m. this morning. It's 4, so like in 6 hours to get another retwist. Now, the reason why I'm doing this video, obviously, is because I want you to see what happens to the hair. And I hope there's enough lighting after approximately two and a half weeks, right? So as you can see in the tips, it is slowly locking after a month. And a lot of the websites, right, do talk about the frizziness. Maybe because I started my dreads with gel in July, I was expecting tighter results. But now when I physically look at the calendar from August 8th to September 10th, which is pretty much 30, 35 days, I'm actually happy because I'm seeing progress. What I'm going to continue doing for people based on this journey, based on this learning experience and such. There, I'm already sweating, right? I want to keep people posted on things that I'm learning along the way. So tomorrow I'm going in for a retwist. It'll be my second retwist since I switched to the wax product. 
the wax product that the lady is currently using is the um, mango and lime the Jamaican mango and lime it's in a white container um, wax and I think she uses the extra firm but any and I like it's a really really nice product it smells nice you know um, it's not heavy on the hair which is important and stuff like that you know and I'm not kinda of feeling any kind of damages or anything like that but like I said it's only been a month this is my first video I, I, what I should have done is made a video right when I started but uh, and just doing research and trying to find out information online I was really disappointed in what I was seeing if you have any questions or if there's anything you want me to cover in topics and stuff like that please let me know I hope you enjoyed this I hope you found this informative and I uh, look forward to seeing you in the near future